So how does it feel to be back uh, from the loan and back with the Timbers? Uh, it feels good. Um, I learned a lot on the loan. Um, struggled a little bit with Portuguese, but other than that, it was it was, it was a good experience. Um, it was a new situation, fighting for a new spot there, but just more than happy to be back and being being back with familiar faces and being back with a group that I, I fought with and was able to meet with them in the, in the final and kind of good to be back and kind of pushing to make the next step for just win one more game and take it to the next level next year. How uh, did the loan sort of come about? Was that the team sort of saying, we think this would be a good opportunity or something that you wanted? How did it kind of come about? Um, I, th I think it's just a, a it was a little of both. Um, it was a situation where I, I I felt like I needed to push myself to the next level, and it was, you know, playing games in USL was was fine, but I wanted to kind of venture out and you know be in a situation where I was a little uncomfortable, and that that brought a lot of experiences from from this loan. It was you know somewhere where I didn't know the language, I didn't know the people, I didn't know what I was getting myself into, and it was kind of. It, it, it was good that I did it, and it was it's for sure I brought things back with me that, that I learned there that I will continue to like kind of factor into my game. When you talk about the things you brought back, well, what is it that you feel like you learned there specifically? Um, I just learned that it's it, it's an environment where it's you know day in day out you're you're fighting. Here it was kind of okay if if I'm not if I'm not in the 18, I can potentially play with T2. There it was just one team, so it was just a matter of you know breaking to the 18, whether it's you know fighting off guys that you've, you've never met before, guys that you're supposed to be making friends with here. It's kind of like, okay, we all speak English. We all kind of have a bond with there. It was, you know, I was the outsider kind of looking in. So it was just that, just taking that experience here is just being an outside, being an insider kind of fighting myself to continue to get into the group kind of thing. And so what are kind of the goals now coming back that you've set for yourself and maybe talked with, with the coaches about? Um, last year, I, I made the 18 a couple times, but it just never made it onto the field. I think it's just a matter of, you know, getting minutes. I, I obviously have the goal to be a starter and kind of be day in, day out kind of kind of player. And I, I for sure can set my goal kind of high. And, you know, if I, if I fall a little below, then that's at least getting minutes in the MLS. So I think mainly this year is just getting, getting solid minutes this year in the MLS. Eric, a lot of people keep talking about you as if they don't know what position that you play or want to play. Last year for T2, you started in a double pivot, went to a 10, and sometimes you would swap with Marvin and about why. What do you ideally want to be doing position-wise? Um, I believe position-wise, I think it's more of kind of a 10 playmaker kind of role. But at the same time, I kind of like in the ball off the, off the back. So I think eight is kind of my perfect position where it's, you know, I can join the attack, but I can also get the ball off the defender. So I think that's one thing I learned in Portugal is that I, I, I want to be the player just kind of connecting the, the back to the front and, you know, doing box to box, defending and attacking kind of thing. You're obviously a very technical player. That's maybe the biggest strength of your game. How, is there a difference between how that technical quality fits in at USL compared to the quality that you're seeing at the MLS level? Oh yeah, for sure. You know, in the USL you can get away with, you know, a couple bad touches. But as, as I learned from being in Portugal, being here, that, you know, you can't take those one or two plays off. It's, it's 90 minutes of focus, 90 minutes of you know, making sure you're technical, fighting the, for the full 90 minutes. So you, I, I, the, the USL is, is a good kind of transition for, you know, coming from college. And it was kind of, you know, I, I felt like I was, I was fine in the USL, but I, I obviously want to continue to push myself to, to the point where I'm just getting solid minutes and then loss. Were there challenges mentally coming into a situation where, you know, you were playing in USL, but, but getting minutes in the first team um, wasn't? something that was able to come easily. Um, was that a challenge for you to try to deal with the position? I mean, obviously, at the lower levels, you've probably been the best player your entire career. Uh, for sure. You know, um, just looking in, in, in Jeremy's situation, me and Jeremy have been growing up together, and, you know, he, he wasn't getting minutes with the MLS either. So it's kind of, you know, we're thinking to ourselves, you know, are we good enough? And obviously, there's, there's, there's a small load of doubt. But then at the same day, you know, at the same time, every day we're telling ourselves that we are good enough. We continue to push ourselves. So I think that was a huge thing. And even going to Portugal was hard mentally in terms of, you know, I don't have as many friends to, you know, talk about that kind of stuff with. So, you know, I'd catch up to, with Jeremy. I'd catch up with guys like Mo here where it's, you know, Jeremy wasn't getting minutes as soon as I left. It was kind of, you know, halfway through I was there. He was, you know, every day he was playing. So it's just the 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 reinsurance that he he kind of put on our abilities kind of helped mentally and I, I think for sure not getting minutes played a, a big role in that. I mean some differences for you this year, you're gonna have a full camp. 
second year with the coaching staff, you know them with the exception of Miles who came in in the middle of last year. How important are those things for you, That kind of, those kind of continuity factors? Um, I think it's huge. Uh, last year, you know, it was a brand new staff and I was brand new as well. So it was kind of setting my identity. But now they know me a little. They know what I need to work on. And, you know, I've, I knew Miles for maybe two weeks before I left. And I've already talked to him about setting goals for this year. And it's, you know, we can already see it in training. He's continuing to push me. And I think, you know, those little things where I have got the coaching staff that I already know that can continue to push me and know my game kind of thing. So I, I think it's huge coming into this year that I have a little more familiar faces in terms of coaching.